What is going on YouTube? It's AirJP back with a brand new review video and do I have a cool pair of kicks to go over with you guys today. I'm very, very excited uh, that I was able to grab these. They were actually a whole lot easier to get than I thought they were going to be. Um, I do think that they're pretty much sold out now, but I was able to get them on the sneakers app and I did not think that I was going to get them uh, from there. I thought I was going to have to go to Foot Locker or something like that. But at the same time, as I said, I was able to get them on there and I'm very, very excited to have them in my collection. So if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram yet, please do so. My Instagram username is the exact same as my YouTube channel name. Um, so it's easy to find me there obviously as well. If you haven't subscribed to the channel either, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, hit that notification bell as well. Soon every single time that I do upload a video. And if you didn't know this, I write basketball performance reviews for sneakers Detroit's website um, and I will leave their Instagram information as well as the website to maybe one of my performance reviews in the description box below so you guys can easily check out some of my performance reviews as well as keep up in the future definitely give them a follow on Instagram um, he's always posting when I release or have a new review up on the website but let's go ahead and take a look at the kicks that you are here to see this is the uh, KD 12 um, uh, Aunt Pearl, sorry, I just actually made another review video on a pair of Kyrie's um, that I'm going to be uh, editing and bringing to you guys as well, and I almost called these the Kyrie 12s instead of the KD 12. But um, the only thing that I am disappointed basically about right now with these is I wish they would have came with a, a little bit more um, special or limited box. Um, this is just a standard KD 12 box, but that's all right. As I said, I'm more happy to have the shoes than I am to have the box. So on the back of the box, you can see Nike basketball. Um, on the top of the box, it has a Nike check as well as the KD logo. And then um, we'll go ahead, I guess, and take a look. Well, over here, you've got Kevin Wayne Durant. Uh, 12th edition 2019-2020. So color code, um, pricing, size, all that good stuff. Nike KD12, multicolor, multicolor, uh, retail 150, and then I went with my normal size of 11 and a half. So I will tell you guys this real quick as well before we actually jump into the kicks. Um, on Instagram, I just posted my two favorite performance pairs of 2019. And the reason that there was two pairs is I couldn't really decide on one single pair. So my two favorite pairs was the Jordan 34 and the KD12. So these sneakers do perform very, very well on the basketball court. Now this actual pair, I'm definitely not going to play in. Um, but at the same time, as I said, the KD12 overall is a very, very good performer on the basketball court. So let's go ahead and grab these out of the box and take a look at them. And here they are, guys, the KD12 in that Ant Pearl colorway. So let me go ahead and grab this other sneaker out, move the box out of the way, and we'll go over the shoes just a little bit here and let you get a little bit closer look at them. So as you can tell, you're obviously going to have a strap on this pair that is not featured on any other KD12, and this is the wing. Basically, this is commemorative from the KD7. Uh, I have the KD7 Ant Pearls, and I'll show you those before the video is over to show you exactly what I mean. But you do have the wing or angel wing um, going across the shoe in the strap form, and behind it, which I will show you as well. Kevin Durant, K. Yow Cancer Fund, in memory of Aunt Pearl, who inspired us all to continue the fight for a cure. So obviously this, this shoe does commemorate um, Katie's Aunt Pearl, who passed away from cancer, I believe it was 2004, if I uh, am correct about that. Um, I will maybe, uh, I think I've, I've got some information that I'm going to go over with you guys about this actual sneaker here in just a minute. And I think it's, uh, as I said, 2004, but I believe it's in the article as well um, that I'm going to go over with you. So you do have standard KD materials basically all over the shoe except for a few areas. Um, as you can see, you've got this sparkle going down the side here. Um, gray midsole basically with that pink sparkle in there. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up that well, but it is definitely very sparkly um, in person. The Nike swoosh is in a velvet material on the side. Very, very soft material um, here on this Nike swoosh. And on the back, I think they kind of tried to, I mean, it's obviously like knit or stitched on um, the KD on the back here, but I think they tried to go for like that velvet type look, but it's it's not super soft or anything like the Nike swoosh is here. But as I said, I think that's the look that they were trying to go for um, on the back uh, heel of the shoe as well. And the tongue on these, you do have standard pink laces, um, as you can see here, let me move the strap out of the way. And the tongue is that velvet material as well. And as I said, it's a very, very nice um, feeling material. So this is the um, uh, left shoe. And I'm trying to see the tongue on the left shoe says Aunt Pearl. Um, I don't know if you can see it that well or not. 
Um, and then on the in, inside or the lining um, or the insole of the shoe, you've got the Kayao Hemp Pearl uh, Cancer Fun um, is on the inside there. And then the lining of the actual shoe is that velvet material as well. And I'm telling you guys, this material is very, very soft. Like. I'm, I'm a guy that does always wear my sneakers, but at the same time, I'm almost scared to wear these. Like the materials are so premium on the tongue and the uh, lining on the inside. I'm almost scared to like put my foot in these actual sneakers um, at this point. But um, the right shoe, it does say Ant Pearl on the tongue as well. Um, I, I, for some reason, I was thinking one said Kevin and one said Durant, but it does say Ant Pearl on the tongue. Um, and there's no real differences from the left shoe to the right shoe. Obviously, you're gonna have that um, strap across the midfoot area, um, same lining, same tongue, and same materials basically across the whole shoe. Um, and that, as I said, that velvet Nike swoosh is a really, really nice uh, hint or detail on the actual pair. And then taking a look at the outsole, you do have a pink outsole kind of with like a, um, I'm gonna call it almost like a white blue um, going in and out certain areas um, or mixed into the design on the outsole of the shoe. But overall guys, as I said, I'm very, very happy to have these in hand. So what I wanted to do now was bring out the KD7 Amp Pearls and just show you guys a little bit of a comparison. I mean, this shoe, you know, overall you've got a KD12 with a strap on it, but at the same time, it's almost quite a bit, like almost the exact same shoe in certain hints or areas. Um, this doesn't have velvet or anything like that on it, but I remember when these guys came out, I want them so bad, I missed out on them. I actually paid, um, I got these for like 150, but at that time it was, um, I wouldn't call it resale prices, but I didn't get these at release time. So I can't remember what the retail on these actually were. It may even have been 150. I, I honestly cannot remember, but I do know that I paid 150 for these and it was um, from a reselling uh, standpoint, basically, um, is how that I was able to pick them up. But this was a sneaker that when I got it, I was so excited. It's still to this day, one of my favorite sneakers that I have in my collection overall. Um, and I don't know if it's for the standpoint of trying to find the cure for cancer. I don't really know what the complete reason is. I mean, I do love white and gold uh, sneakers and that hint of pink or detail of pink on the shoe is definitely really cool as well. But I think it's just a really good looking shoe overall. And as I said, it is still one of my favorites to this day um, in my collection. But now adding these KD12 and Pearls um, in as well with the sevens, um, I definitely uh, have to say this is definitely up there as one of my favorite pairs at this point as well. But what I wanted to do was, is on Nike News, they basically describe um, different parts of the sneaker and where they basically got the inspirations from. Um, and I obviously wasn't able to memorize all of this stuff. And I don't, the only two KD Amp Pearls I have is the seven and the 12. I'm gonna be honest though, I may go back and um, I say this, I say stuff like this all the time and then I don't actually uh, follow through with it. But this is one shoe that I, I kind of would like to have every single pair in the collection. Um, now that I have the sevens and the 12s, they do mean a whole lot to me as far as in my sneaker collection. And I do feel like that it would be cool to basically have um, each pair of the KD 12 Amp Pearls. So it may be something that um, I do try to go back and do is get each pair, um, as long as they're not super crazy prices, um, that is what I may try to actually do. But what I wanna do now is basically go over some of these details um, with you guys. And I wanted to look up, um, let's see here, she passed away from lung cancer in 2000. I'm sorry, I was thinking 2004 um, for some reason. And then the KD4 in 2012 is the first time that they basically um, made a shoe. Let's see. Da -da -da. Yes, the KD4 in 2012 was the first KD Amp Pearl uh, version or pair that did release. So um, now we'll go over basically the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven are all on this actual shoe in some way or another, and I'm going to describe that to you. So the pearl craft, the pearl graphic on the collar foam is drawn from the KD4. The sock liner graphic is from the KD5. Um, the medial heel graphic is from the KD6. As I already told you, the strap is from the KD7. The lateral heel graphic is from the KD8. The heel embroidery is from the KD9. The material on the tongue, collar, and Nike swoosh is from the KD10. So that would be the velvet material, obviously. 
and then the outsole marbling that was the word that i was trying to use was <laughs> it's almost like a marble i don't know why i wanted to say blue but that's like kind of the actual color but marbling is what i was trying to think of or get at so the outsole marbling is from the kd11 and then obviously this is the kd12 which is meshing them all together and i think that they did a awesome job with this actual shoe and how they tried to tie in each pair from the KD4 to the 11 to make the KD12. But I do want to thank you guys for tuning in and checking out this review video or unboxing and initial um, review video, I guess you could say, on the KD12 Amp Pearls. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate everyone's support. As I told you guys in the last video on the KD6 uh, black and white pair that I did the review on, I do want to thank everyone again for their support in 2019. And as I said, it's going to be a great 2020 for everyone. But thanks again, guys, for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And we'll be back very, very soon with some more sneakers. Peace.